Hey there, Haru chan here. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button to hear more about my Gundam voice. Okay, so with the impact of games like Genshin Impact, Grand Blue Fantasy, Honkai Impact, and Slam Dunk, among others, is hitting high numbers since the start of the pandemic. Let's face it, Gotcha Mania is running wild on you, brother. You can't carry your console all the time. And if you have a portable console like Nintendo Switch, then you have to buy the game. Your attention span will always be focused more on your phone, right now more than ever. Thankfully, Raid Shadow Legends is a full-fledged RPG game. Hey, wait a minute. Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare is the quintessential Gundam game available for you and you can play it on mobile while on the bus ride, at work, or while in a conference meeting while you're working at home. Just point your angle properly while playing the game so that no one sees you in the Zoom meeting you're in. And don't tell your boss that I gave you this advice. Now, with the ongoing pandemic, some of us just can't afford consoles and don't have the time or patience or luxury to play console games. You can just download a good gaming app for Gundam, available in iOS and Android. Don't worry, the download will take half an hour if you have a semi-decent internet connection. If you have proper access to Zoom or Skype, this won't be a problem for your phone. Unless, of course, you don't have the minimum memory for the game. Then you will need to clear up some space for it. Make sure you have at least 4 gigabytes of space for your phone to install Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. Now, you can make your dream mobile suit at your fingertips. Despite how outlandish and awful it may be, but here's the catch. You will have to level up your character and probably buy Harus to make the app useful for your plans of designing, kit bashing, and personalizing a Gunpla model kit. Regardless, I see Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare as an excellent app to display a perspective for your kit bashing ideas. Also, just plain designing a good personalized robot for your own taste. For example, you can use an unusual color for popular models like the Unicorn Gundam. The design team figured out that the Unicorn was too unique that they developed the Gundam Banshee and Phoenix, which was made from Gundam Unicorn. The odds and combinations are almost limitless, and I am giving you the idea to use the app to work on your own kit-bashed Gundam by the use of your own hands in the foreseeable future. You can make a house spawn of the Epion or the Altron, like one of my favorites, the Versago, my first gunpla from Gundam X, but an Atherin Zala's Magenta Red or something like that. Or imagine Graham Acker's Exia Repair or maybe Chang Wu Fei's White Epion, which is exclusive in manga and book illustrations only before you screw up Kit Bashing 1. I tell you, this is a useful app for the gunpla enthusiast. Heck, you can even customize any part of Gundam you can get your hands on. Just level up and save up or stack up on Haru so that you can roll and purchase the designs that you want. Not just the look, even the weapons are customizable. Do you want a Darth Vader or a Darth Maul looking Gundam? Easy. You can customize the color and the theme of the Gundam you are designing. Want a Wolverine themed Gundam? You can easily design that in this game. All that, and the fun is, you can play ranked games with strangers from the internet to gain Harus. You can have a lot of fun while doing it. A full-fledged Gundam game on your mobile phone. As a matter of fact, the idea is, you can mod your next gun plan here and you can take photos of it on your phone. In fact, I encourage kit bashing in order to make your ideal gun plan. I saw Gundam Wing Frozen Teardrop Kit Bash in the past at a convention when I visited Singapore. It was actually a competitive event and you can win actual human cash from it. Human cash, not just Harus from a game, if you get good enough for kit bashing and diorama building. As soon as this whole worldwide pandemic thing is over, you can compete your kit bashed gunpla or your diorama in conventions and actually showcase your creativity as a Gundam or mecha anime fan. You can also meet up with fellow anime fans there as well. I miss going out to live events like conventions, movie theaters, and concerts. Not gonna lie here. So, if you're a Gundam fan and not yet sold on this game, I tell you, this is better than 
any visual novel-based and simulation-based gacha games. This actually has interactive gameplay in it. You can compete with other Gundam fans online. Besides that, there's a story mode to follow. If you're a story-based driven player, then you would find that this aspect of the game is totally appealing. It's not a breath of the wild, but at least it was not copied from it or something. Besides, we are looking at an action game here. The nearest comparison I can compare this with is an old MMO called X-Steel, which was cool as hell. I think I played those when I was in elementary or high school or something. So yeah, it's the Gen Z version of X-Steel. If Ragnarok and Freestyle had a revival, then why not X-Steel, right? Why not Bandai and Gundam handle this era's version of X-Steel? I haven't mentioned that on my favorite mecha games of all time, but X-Steel is highly underrated. Now, since that game encouraged modding parts, I just hope that Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare allows new designs from other Bandai anime. They're missing out on tons of models that will allow them huge money from old and new fans. Anime fans of Evangelion, Digimon, Volts 5, Eureka 7, Star Driver, and a few Elden series. The Elden series I'm most familiar with is Raijin O. Oh. I think I have watched the first episode and the school changing into a secret base sequence one too many times already. All I'm saying is, they're missing out on a lot if they're not adapting and crossing over other mecha designs in their gacha game. This could be a good opportunity for them, for me, for you and other mecha fans. In fact, I would love to see that. Also, have you ever had the feeling of getting pissed off by a villain in your favorite series? Well, I made a burn book, like the most famous plastic of all time, Regina George, on whose death in the Gundam universe was most satisfying. Subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications when I upload new stuff, and leave this video a like. Sig Zion! Stay connected, stay up to date.